Welcome to Parev TV. Our guest today is the producer, director of Charles. This is a very special bio musical that is dedicated to Charles Osdevor. And uh, the uh, guest is Talim Babayan. And uh, we are going to give you details about this production, which uh, really is the life and works of uh, Osdevor, along with the challenges Osdevor faced. We all love Osdevor. We all know about Osdevor. We recognize his voice miles away. We know what he has done for mankind, for humanity, but we also should remember what Aznavour did for Armenians, especially in the years following 1988 earthquake with the work he did with the children and orphans of Armenia. We know this production will be held on March the 1st. This is a Sunday. We also know the location is Symphony Space, and we also know the production is sponsored, presented by the Tekian Cultural Association. For more details, we now turn, turn to director-producer Talim Babayan. It is a pleasure to have her with us. Thank you, Talim. What's always so interesting to me and what's so fascinating are the roots of someone's story. And when I was reading Aznavour's autobiography, it's a, it was a rare copy that I found at a bookstore in New York City a couple of years ago. And I'm reading through the pages, especially his early life, and I was just astonished at how no one had brought his story to stage or to film. I mean, he was the son of Armenian genocide survivors. He lived through uh, Nazi-occupied France during World War II. For 15 years, he endured uh, cr critics, um, everyone at every turn telling him that he was going to fail, he didn't have a good enough voice. So it was really interesting for me to capture his spirit and how determined he was um, to still pursue his dream of becoming a singer without ever forgetting getting his culture. Um, especially in the beginning of his autobiography that I was reading, he always goes back to his Armenian community, to his people, to the music and the heritage that was ingrained in him uh, by his family, by his parents, and by his sister, and the warm community they had, bu they had built. Even though they didn't have much in terms of resources or material, they had a lot of love, they had a lot of talent, and they had a lot of encouragement. So what I sought to capture, of course there's a whole timeline you know, throughout his life, but it was important to me to show the foundation and that foundation starts with his Armenian family and just from there how he built up himself up and how, how he flourished despite all the challenges that he faced. You know he we speak about the challenges of Aznavour what challenges did you have to face to produce this thing and was this presented anywhere else? So um, once I read his autobiography and there was another um, part of it that he had written many years later so I read through those and I wrote a script that reflected the uh, information, the facts that he had set forth, but also I tried to capture his emotions, his feelings, where he was at at each stage of his life. So I wrote about a 30-page script while incorporating 15 of his most cherished songs. Um, so it provides this capsule of his life and his music, and I set that more into a theatrical setting so it could come alive on stage. And I debuted it for the first time last October at the Hotel Cafe uh, in Hollywood, and then we had a second main stage performance at the El Portal Theater in North Hollywood and our group, uh, the cast that I formed of musicians, they're all Los Angeles based. For our Armenian uh, the singer Mordi Sujian has a very uncanny resemblance to Charles Aznavour and his voice is very similar as well. His daughter Mariet Sujian is also a singer and an actress and she is singing a few Franco-English tunes um, in the production because I wanted to show the generational um, connections with Aznavour's music and how it carries on through family and, and legacy. Um, we have Harut Soromonian who is playing the accordion and the guitar and Levon Ghanimian is the bass and we have Bernard Bayer uh, who is uh, Aus Austrian, um, also Los Angeles based and he is playing a young Aznavour while also um, he is playing the piano for all of the, the tunes that we present. You know, any producer, any director needs the support of organizations within the community. You were fortunate enough to get the support, the backing of the Tekian Cultural Association. Talk us about that. Uh, sure. Um, so when I did the first two performances in Los Angeles, they were independent. I, I produced and directed them on my own. And then um, Hilda Hartunyan, the chair of the Tekian Cultural Association here in New York, had been in touch with me. She was following our performances, and she uh, was very interested in us having a, a showing here in New York. So we were communicating the past couple of months, and you know, thanks to her efforts and uh, her leadership, we were able to bring it to life uh, here in New York um, because the cast is flying in from Los Angeles. Um, it did 
it was a, a bigger undertaking. Um, so together we're able to um, bring this performance uh, to life here in New York, March 1st at Symphony Space. So we're all very excited about it. And the Los Angeles performers are very enthusiastic to come here and meet our Armenian American community on the East Coast. You know, you are excited, we are excited, but many people would say we had a production about Aznavour, Pourtois Aznavour by the Shushi Dance Ensemble. How will this production differ from the other one? Um, so this uh, production is more so theatrical based. Um, we have uh, we do some reenactments of scenes, but it is based. It's driven by music and it's driven by his life story and his narrative and his biography. So it is a smaller cast. We have five pe uh, five people. Um, uh, four of which are the musicians, and so it's more of a narrative about his life, you know, set to music. And what would you like, in closing, to tell the people? Um, I'm really excited to present this to my home community. Um, I did five uh, theatrical productions while I was in Los Angeles, and there are also uh, a very committed uh, group of Armenians out there, but this is my home community. I grew up here, and there are people who are kind enough and supportive and encouraging to follow my work over the years, and I'm really uh, looking forward to presenting this uh, to our community here. Any more information where people get tickets if Ireland if they want sure. to do it? So tickets are available at symphonyspace.org. Um, they can be purchased online or um, they have a box office as well. And we are on social media. We have our poster, which I'm sure we can share with our uh, listeners as well. And uh, Tekan Cultural Association is also selling tickets. Um, and we can provide that, uh, that contact information as well.